My name is Puneet Singh. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Simple. Oh, that's a hard one. Um, let me give you a slightly unconventional answer. There is a famous quote by Steve Jobs that simple can be harder than complex. And I think in our engineering field, uh, in the technology field, it's the engineer who actually takes the complicated and abstract out everything and makes it dead simple for end users. So I love being an engineer and taking complicated stuff and making it easy for the end users. So look, uh, there is no easy answer, there are a lot of challenges, but the thing that I've learned over the last decade is uh, building transformative technologies uh, takes a long time. The first iteration is never perfect. You have to iterate, you have to stay on the, on the mission for a long time, and that kind of patience is not usually there. So new technologies may look disruptive, but it takes constant innovation over a long period of time to make it really disruptive for a large user base. So the most important thing is understanding the meaning of constraints. You will never have unlimited resources when you're building new technologies. There's always a limit to the number of engineers you can have. There's always a limit to the amount of time you have to build something. So if you are going to make a building, on day one, you need to put the columns and beams. Similarly, when you're building a software or hardware product, understanding the constraints in the system very early in the project is the key to success. So for me, it's always people. I strongly believe that we are a function of the three, four people we work with closely. And uh, I love the team here at Simple. I've known the CEO for more than 20 years. So for me, it was a no brainer. So there are multiple answers to it. I'll just say two things. One is make sure you are never the smartest person in the room. If you are in a company, especially as an engineer, and you feel that you're the smartest person, uh, it's time to move on and find a place where you're definitely not the smartest person. And second would be being intellectually honest about what you're learning on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, you could be in a great company, but the kind of work you're doing um, is not intellectually stimulating or you know, giving you that next boost. So work at a place where you're not the smartest person, and two, uh, work at a company where you're learning everything, everything new uh, on an ongoing basis. So I run all of engineering. Uh, if you think about simple as a product, there is a mobile app, there is a web app, there is a lot of data that we collect. Uh, we do about 20 to 30 million API calls a day. We have 8 billion records in our data warehouse, uh, terabytes of data. So there are a lot of interesting projects. Uh, we have a team of about 150 engineers. Uh, we'll be 200 engineers by the end of the year, maybe 300 engineers by next year. So we are working on scale, massive scale dealing with 100 million or more users in India. We are looking at massive data uh, and computation, so using machine learning, uh, transforming data, putting data in warehouses, uh, and definitely delighting the end users. So building a mobile app with a very simple design and doing away with all the complexity as I stated earlier. Yeah, so look, uh, again, we look for people who are adventurous. Uh, you need some threshold technology skills, uh, you know, good with the foundational of computer science. But at the end of the day, I personally look for people who are adventurous. Uh, they should ha show the capacity and uh, intent to be at a startup because startups are hard. Uh, you have to uh, step out of your comfort zone to be successful in a startup. Again, it's people. I, I love the people here at Simple. We've built a brilliant team. Uh, we are solving really hard technology problems. So I enjoy the kind of challenges we face and then the, the friendship we have here uh, within the engineering and product teams. Adventurous. 
So I, I, I'm a voracious reader. I read two, three newspapers a day. I'm always reading something. Uh, right now, my, the thing that I'm really um, passionate about is philosophy. So I'm reading old Greek philosophy. Uh, and you know the, the fun part is I come to the office and use these quotes where everybody is looking at me because I'm quoting Aristotle or Socrates. Uh, and you know maybe the, the flavor will change in six months. I really like the early part of the journey, which is converting an idea into a document first, into a presentation, and then really thinking hard about, is this a real problem that should be addressed? Uh, the fun in technology is not doing too many things. The fun is distilling it down to very few things that really matter. So that early part of a discussion where you decide whether this is worth doing or not is what I find most um, challenging and also most rewarding. Take vacations. Um, audacious goal and an amazing team. We're working on very hard technology problems. Good question. So Simple is a two-sided network. It's a two-sided marketplace. We have 100,000 merchants on one side, in India, D2C, and we want to be a global company. And then you have millions of users on the other side. Now, this is a 10x harder problem than a one-sided network. Uh, for the simple fact that it's chicken and egg, if you go to a merchant and you want to solve something, the merchants are always asking how many users you have. And if you go to users, they are keen to know how many merchants are there in the simple network. So it has taken us a long time to really nail this two-sided network. Um, and the challenges are just the volume of data that we collect on a, a daily basis. We are looking at uh, billions of data points for underwriting, for fraud control. Uh, we're doing uh, 50 million API calls, and our aspirations are to do you know, 200, 300 million API calls a day. So we are looking for engineers who can build platforms. Platforms are built over time. They take years to uh, build and uh, you know, add finesse. So we have a whole amount of challenges in scalability, data processing, machine learning, and delighting the end users uh, using beautiful interfaces, mobile or web-based. So first, uh, you need to be a stellar engineer to move into a management role. And then management is all about people. Uh, so if you have the insight of dealing with people, their emotions, uh, having the patience to have one-on-ones and mentoring people, I think you should definitely get into uh, engineering management role. If you just love to craft things and be artistic, then I would recommend you stay in an individual contributor role and uh, you know just build things uh, as an individual contributor. Yes, so I graduated back in 2004 and I joined a startup called VMware. Uh, it went public in 2007 and it was a wonderful experience. Uh, the best engineers uh, in US were working for the company and it was a very rewarding and learning experience. In 2011, I started my own company called WorkSpot. We did virtual desktop streaming from the cloud uh, for security, compliance, and regulatory use cases. Um, being an entrepreneur is stepping out of your comfort zone. And once you do that, you're sort of set for life. Uh, I have a lot of respect for people who start companies because believe me, it's the most challenging thing you can do um, uh, other than getting married. So again, the key is have a good foundation. You know, whatever is your first job, out of school, after college, uh, make sure you're learning the basics, uh, working hard, getting domain skills, uh, becoming an expert in an area, and then observing you know, the world around you. Uh, there are always problems and challenges that can be addressed, and you never know when you'll come up with an idea. I think the biggest jump is that first, in the first jump to really starting a company. After that, it's easy. 
Uh, it's the jump of leaving a cushy job and saying I'm going to become an entrepreneur and start something on my own. That's the hardest part of being an entrepreneur. So, you know, go talk to people who've done it before, uh, stay motivated, and when you think you have the right idea, you should jump into it. So if you look at the landscape, I think things have been very rosy for the last few years. Uh, however, having worked in the US and studied the history, there are booms and busts. So we may have, we may be going through a cycle which is a little off uh, from the peak, but if you have a good idea, uh, this is the best time in the last 20 years to start a company. Don't worry about the boom and bust cycles. If you strongly believe in an idea, uh, India is the right place to start an internet, mobile, or a technology company. So we do have a mentoring program at Simple because I firmly believe as we get fresh graduates and young people, uh, having a chat with them uh, on a weekly basis, nudging them about how to navigate the organization, how to keep a work-life balance is extremely important. So I do mentor uh, my direct reports and we also have a mentoring program here at uh, Simple where as new employees join, we team them up with a buddy or a mentor and they get some time on a weekly basis uh, to ask questions and learn about the industry and the company. Thanks, thanks for having me.